Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with Anon Jr. It's been a week. How y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, so, hopefully today we will be finishing Tatooine, the most significant, insignificant planet in all of the Star Wars universe. Everybody keeps talking about it like it's this insignificant rock, and yet, how, how many... How many movies? How many quests? How many different things seem to uh, bring an adventure over to this insignificant rock? Well, here we are. In between the last week and this one, I did start the character sheets I've been complaining about not having, but I have not finished them. So I'm not going to worry too much about buying gear or sorting out gear. But what I did do is make sure I've upgraded everything I could possibly upgrade. I sold off all the stuff that I absolutely know I do not need and cannot use. So we should be able to get all that squared away too. Um, what I'm going to do now is load up. We'll get our party together. Get our party started, so to speak. Since we are going to deal with the sand people, I'm going to take a slightly less than ideal party. Well... HK-47 seems to be a good guy to have if you need to uh, blow stuff up or beat stuff up or both. Um, so I'm going to take him, though, not for those reasons, but because he is apparently the only one with the language files to talk to the sand people. And I, I, I would like to actually, you know, resolve this the nice way. I am going to add mission to my group because... Last we heard, the Sand People had her brother. So I'm reasonably certain that we're going to find her brother or we're going to need her to find out where he hightailed off to next. Because he seems to be that kind of flaky guy. So while she is not my ideal teammate for this, I'd much rather have like Bastila or Candorous or, you know, somebody that can hit hard. I'll take her. Um, hopefully, hopefully this will, hopefully this will all work out. I mean, what could possibly go wrong, right? Famous last words. All right, let me talk to her to make sure there's nothing new to say. We'll talk, talk to you about your brother. What is there to talk about? Those sand people took my brother prisoner. Griff may be a slime, but we have to go rescue him. We can't just leave him with those mm -hmm, with those those monsters. Those monsters? All right. I knew I could we'll get him back. You. There's definite fringe benefits to being friends with a Jedi. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with the way you look at uh, fringe benefits. Alright, let's make our way down. I've been debating on doing the swoop bike racing too. I know that is one of the the side quest things that go goes on on this planet. I'm not sure you want to see me flail at racing for for as long as it'll probably take me to make that happen. But um, I may reconsider that a little bit later. It's not like we can't come back and do a little bit more racing as we go. So uh, there is that. Yeah. There we go. That's the way out. I'm pretty sure, other than the racing... Well, you know what, let me just double check the uh, quests. Uh, Karth is being all emo. Quest for the Star Forge we'll have to do once we take care of the Sand People. HK-47, uh, successful tampering of the memory cores recover the droid's memory of his most recent owner. The dissolution of the owner's company and auctioning off of its assets must be how the HK-47 ended up at the droid shop at Tatooine. However, the droid got to the how the droid got to the executive is unknown. Okay, so we still got that going on. Jihani, maybe talking to her later will reveal more about her past. Candorous, more tales. Fair trade. Is is all right. So we got to take care of his people from the sand people. Uh, Mata the Hut really wants us to help bully Nico into a racing contract. 
All right, maybe after the sand people, I'll go. I'll go try my hand at swoop racing and try to do that because there are a couple of quests in that area, and uh, I, I am more the marginal bit of a completionist. They are minor sidesteps on this adventure, but. All right, maybe I'll take care of that after the sand people. I'll think about that. Sand people, so we got the sand people robes. They should allow you to pass off as sand people warrior, at least from distance. They may make entering the sand people enclave a little easier. All of the non-droid members of your party would have to be wearing the robes for the disguise to work. Since you don't have robes big enough to fit Zalbar, his presence would certainly give you away. Yes, I'm pretty sure even the sand people would notice a Wookiee. I would be worried if they didn't. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> you gonna let me through? Do I have to talk to you? Can hmm? I go, please? Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. Good hunting out there. Good hunting, old chap. Alright. Onward and full. Actually, can we equip the sand people stuff right now? Yes. Because I'm wondering if this will also get us out of uh, out of having to. Sure. The random fights. All right. I guess that's sort of passable. I mean. How many sand people are running around with a lightsaber in their hands? Never mind, don't answer that question. So the idea is that we need to go infiltrate the sand people enclave and find the leader and convince him to stop raiding the settlements. If we can get them to stop raiding the settlements, yeah, let's not go talk to those guys. They, they probably don't want a couple of same people walking up. I'm probably going to regret taking the armor off, aren't I? Because we got those guys over there, too. Yeah. Man, I really want the XP, though. Alright. I had the fiber armor. He had the Republic armor. Let's go get a little XP before we uh, wander in there. Because I am close to the next level. And levels are always helpful. Is it raid? Yes, let's flurry. Do you seriously not have the range for any of those guys? What about you, Master Assassin? No? Oh. Uh. Fine. Yes, I'll <laughs> right. Improve Power Blast. Let's get you to do the same. <laughs> get him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, credits. Oh, you, you already started on the next guy. Okay. Well, that works too. If we can stun him and then get some players in. Alright. That should help. get you to do use one of the regular repair kits ready see how that goes. <laughs> let's use another one of the cheap kits yes all right and Ooh, more credits well soon to be 
I'll have to go down to the hunting lodge to take care of that. But, since we got the uh, license, it'd be a shame not to put it to use. off my health. Alright. And on and forward we go. Let's double check that map real quick. Alright, so that is to the eastern dune sea. Not yet. That's the accident site and that is to the sand people territory. So it's a little bit past the accident site. We'll get into our robes again just in case something else pops out. Because that's my luck. And... Oh, sand people. Alright. Made that in here? Nope. Okay. Let's get these robes on. Okay. Okay. Got your robes, you don't wear robes, you got your robes. Alright. You know what? Before we go any further, go ahead and do a save. I read that there was a bug that would sometimes cause really weird crashes when going into the sand people. And there was another bug that would cause them to randomly be hostile, no matter what you did. With my luck being what it is... Hi guys, pay no attention to me. Just, you know, checking the corpse. Like you should've. Ooh. Nice. Head back, response... okay. Alright. Do, 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 do. Oh. I think I failed an awareness check. All right. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know how I roll. Try to get the map, map borders. Contours of the map. I like to know where I'm running when I flee. <laughs> Usually appreciate it. Alright, that's gonna be the main entrance. Oh, for serious. Where's the... <sighs> Life support pack. Good. I'm gonna need it. Right. I have anything that boosts awareness. <laughs> It's almost like awareness. Oh no, I already got a bump to awareness. Okay. <laughs> Apparently not a big enough bump. You can talk to a banter? That doesn't... I mean... I guess when you're hurting them alone in the desert, what else are you going to do, right? Hi, hey, Mr. Bantha. Who's a cute Bantha? Mr. Snuffleupagus is a cute bantha. <laughs> okay. Don't 
While we're wandering the desert and trying to expand our map borders, I would like to make note of something that I've been talking about the last couple couple shows. I finally, finally got around to finishing the Streamlabs donation page and getting all that set up. So if you like what we're doing here, you want to help support the channel, you can go to live.anonjunior.com and that will redirect you to the Streamlabs page. Because it's a whole lot easier than trying to tell you the whole Streamlabs URL and all that stuff. Um, that's a, where does that go? I mean, besides another explosive. Oh, that's probably another way to the Dune Sea, isn't it? Um, yep, yeah, that's another way to the Dune Sea. Anyway, so live.anonjunior.com will take you to the Streamlabs page. It, by default, takes you over to the donation page, which I really don't like. I kind of wish there was a way to set it up to go to the home page, because the home page will have an embedded stream, chat, access to quick links for the YouTube channel, uh, social notifications, and just about everything you could you could ask for. All in one convenient place at live.anonjunior.com. Uh oh, a Twilight Corpse? Did we find Mission's brother? I hope not. He's got a thermal detonator. I feel like I should be impersonating a mercenary now. Oh wait, no, that's not for a couple thousand years. <laughs> and I think that involves a hut too. A ruthless hut. An evil ruthless hut. Oh. Oh, the sun. Okay, that was weird. I suddenly couldn't move forward. Oh. Don't wander out of the desert. Yes, I know. That's... I really wasn't trying to walk out the desert. I promise you. I'm a fool, but I'm not that big a fool. I mean, have you seen some of my D&D &D characters? Never mind. Don't answer that. Okay, who set off the bomb this time? Because it sure wasn't me. Alright, I think we lit up our map. Somehow using a Jedi cure wasn't enough to trip up the sand people and tip them off that, you know, maybe that group of odd looking sand people aren't sand people. Truth. Hello, Mr. Turrets. That's a that's a disturbing number of bodies. Just out of curiosity, did we get the whole map? We got the whole map. You know what we're also gonna do? We're gonna save the game in a new slot just to Just to hold on to that real quick. I'm leaving the other one in case we run into weirdness that I gotta back up to that spot before. To the Enclave. Ooh. Uh, hi, everything's fine here. How are you? <laughs> Interjection. Okay. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Oh. <laughs> Translation. <laughs> 
Result, I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. <laughs> All right, uh... Yeah, never mind that get ready to fight. I'm pretty sure that droid is all sorts of behind that option. Let's uh apologize for being here. Say we want peace. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. Okay, Captain Bloodthirsty. <laughs> Though you can't seem to understand him, the Sand People's Chieftain's tone is obvious. He clearly despises all outsiders. You Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Why am I in my underwear now? That that's bothersome. Uh, we want a peaceful solution. I didn't think I'd be negotiating in my underwear. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? Uh, no. Uh... Is he holding Translation. the jellies? I might be too early to do that, Beth. Translation. But... He refuses to waste breath on you until you are proven to be an ally of his people. He okay. seems quite adamant about it. Please, let me blast him, Master. What is he Translation. Want? Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Will he also tell us about any captives? Oh, now we're all standing around. Translation. He says you will get no more answers until you have proven you are an ally of the Sand People. Okay. We'll get his evaporators. Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. You will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Um... Could I not be naked now? Her too. Seriously. I thought this game was rated teen. Alright. Now that we're all appropriately attired, where did he dump us out? Just outside the Enclave. That's to the Eastern Dune Sea, that's to the Dune Sea. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and return to the Evan Hawk. And see. Does the journal tell us who we can get some evaporators for? Uh Earth Fair Trade. And people. There we go. I guess I gotta check with uh, Zerka Corp and see if I can get some evaporators from there. They're probably not gonna be happy because this was not the solution they were looking for, but they don't like it. Too bad for them. Well, since I'm here and I've got those raid plates, I might as well go ahead and sell those. Because, you know, credits. Perhaps Ularax will some hunting. <laughs> I'll relax. 
how relaxed from the races with some hunting. Yeah. Okay. I have something to say. Let's have a look. I have a rate link to sell. For a fair price, huh? Sure. Go to the sell list. Um, that's right, I was going to keep the energy shields, but I can... I can definitely sell the plating. I forgot to sell that earlier. And one, two, three, four. I don't remember if I need the... I think both armor sets were fully upgraded. I'll have to check that later. Don't let, don't let me forget. Back. Oh. Oh. Uh, and there's my healthcare handwriting. Just off camera. <laughs> Alright. Uh... We don't need any antidote kits. How many advanced med packs do we have? We got six. Let's go ahead and get a couple more. Two, three, four. Yeah, we're good on the regular med packs. We're good on antidote kits. We got a life support pack, which is nice. 30 plus wisdom. Plus three times your <laughs> skill and treat injury. Always nice. Okay, okay. That should be good for now. I'm curious. Nothing from the Gamorians. Mr. Huntsworth Droid is nowhere to be found. Why are you okay. here, Swoophead? Hunting doesn't give your kind the instant thrills you need, does it? I enter in one race. Uh, you know what? Good hunting. I'm not gonna bother with you. I am so not gonna bother with you. All right. Onward and forward. Let's see if I can just get it from you. You enter one race. Uh, what you get for purchase? <laughs> and moisture evaporators. I don't look like a moisture farmer? I'll be honest. I'm glad you like it. Two of the finest. They only produce one more. <laughs> we have two of the finest evaporators. Of course, they only do one. Model, but. Um. Could you be persuaded to lower the price? Uh, Alright. How lucky do I feel about a Persuade? Would it be bad if I did a Force Persuade? I mean, I'm good, just not lawful. That's for the greater good. <laughs> of course I want to lower the price, but Zerka regulations? Ah, uh, who cares. 200 credits. Okay. I'll take half life. <laughs> I wonder how low you could get him. No, I'm not going to try my luck. I got it down to 200. I think I just earned that with the uh, raid plates anyway, so... Thank you. Pleasure for doing business. Alrighty then. 
Well, that was easy. Uh, which... I'm trying to remember. Okay, there we go. I hate this city. And I keep expecting more Dark Jedi to come out after me. <laughs> I mean... One little bounty and everybody starts... Everybody starts hunting you down. Poking you with lightsabers. Or at least trying to. Alright. And... Do I have to talk to you to leave? Yes, I have to talk to you to leave. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. Now yeah, just let you pass. Again. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. Good hunting not out there. Me. Good hunting. Hello, chap. Well, since I just spent 200 credits. And no, it was 25 credits a plate. So, that first herd covered half the cost of the vaporators. And look at that. I see another herd. Also known as the other half of my uh, quest costs. Okay, nothing in the container. Just checking. Credits. 25. There's another soon to be credits. I do not have enough force points to cure yet. But that won't be long. What are these guys doing here anyway? I thought these guys had already moved on. Thanks for your help. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. I don't have time for this sort of thing. I'm through with the desert. You can take your sand people, crate dragons, and crazy hunters. All right. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. Well, why are you that standing can have it. Ah, the job was I thought you'd already uh, anyway. left. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to yeah, me. Fine. All right. Now here's the question. Since I don't have the guard, are these guys going to attack me? Or are they going to recognize that, uh... I'm on a fetch quest for their boss. Please recognize fetch quest for the boss. Fetch quest? I guess. Don't mind me. Okay, good.
And off to the boss we go. Running. Always running. If only there was a quick travel option. Seriously? Huh? Did, did you just... Are we all sucking on our spot? Apparently. Yes? <sighs> yes? Why, yes. Not a one of us. With as high an awareness as we have. And spot the traps. This sounds like a D&D uh, &D campaign I was in relatively recently. Where DR and hit points served as our trap sense. Because sometimes it's like that. Things I can tell he's disgusted by in my presence and his people. Extrapolation. Lovely. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Thank you for that. Translation. Tell him we got the goods. Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Surprise at our return. But he just met me. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Uh let's see. Let's see if we can get the attacks to stop. that he has made his offer and there will be no further negotiation, okay. Master. Deliver the evaporators or face death. Shall I blast him now? No. We're not blasting him now. We have his evaporators. I love how his eyes blink like a hard drive. Translation. He does not trust you, Master. But you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation. The attacks will be reduced, <laughs> and he will allow will you reduced. to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Alright. Uh, I have some questions. If you truly want this sadly peaceful arrangement to continue, <laughs> be careful of what sadly you Sadly peaceful arrangement? The sadly peace floor. Dude, come on, man. Th there'll be plenty of time for that as we go. Trust me. I'll make use of you for that. Alright, uh... Let's start with Protocol. the culture. This you know, will be a very sensitive warm topic, up. Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Alright. Uh... Let's go back to Protocol. my other questions then. We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. Alright. Where are the captives? We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. What about Mission's brother, Ruth? Translation. He says that by his very presence, this griff defiles their home and land. He's he is without, without any, any semblance, semblance of usefulness. To them. Yep, that would be griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. <laughs> Perhaps we could do it, Master. No. What about the Jones? Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may, you may take, take them, them if you wish. wish. Okay. Alright, farewell for now. I'm 
tank. I really wanted to go ask him some more, but uh, we are free to leave. I don't want to push my luck either. Journal XP items changed hands. If I were the same people, where would I be holding Griff? Yeah, this isn't nerve-wracking at all. Oh, hello, Griff. And we've got mission with us, so... Uh, you there. I'm, uh, I'm a high-ranking executive at the Zerka Corporation. Uh, there's a big uh -huh. reward if you take me back to Anchorhead. Griff, don't you recognize me? It's Mission. Mission? Is it really you? I heard Taurus was destroyed. I, I thought you were dead. Oh, joy of joys, my little sister is alive. I have to ask you uh -huh. something, Griff. It's important. I ran into Lena. She, she said it was uh -oh. your idea to leave me on Terrace. It isn't the true, question. is it? Uh, well, uh, there's the truth, and then there's the truth, you know. I, I always meant to go back to Taurus's just as soon as I had the credits to pay off my debts. Uh -huh. But credits have been hard to come by. You mean it's true? It was your idea to leave me there? I'm your sister. How could you abandon me like that? Come on, sis. You didn't need me to look after you anymore. You, you may have been young, but you knew how to take care of yourself. Besides, you're here now. I mean, everything worked out fine. That's it? <laughs> That's all you have to say to me after all these years after deserting me on Terrace? Well, yeah. That, uh, you know you what, please dude? Please get me out of here. You I, got I a might... tough looking friend there. All right, same people said you can go. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Can you manage that? What? Is there something else? Uh, well, I, I wanted to thank uh -huh. you. And, um, you look like you're doing well. Financially, I mean. Say, um, could you spare me a few credits to get back on my feet? You're hitting me up for credits. I don't believe this. <laughs> Lena was right about you, Griff. We should have just left you to the sand people. Don't talk to me anymore. Ever. Hmm. That didn't go oh. well. Sis was always a little too fiery for our own good. She'll cool down in time. Uh -huh. No. You may have saved my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare me some credits uh, just till I get it back on my feet, you know? Uh... All right. I know the technically good thing would be to say, forget it, or sorry. Because this is just feeding an enabler. However, the way the game's been set up so far, I'm pretty sure I get light side points for giving That's him it, a huh? bunch of credits. Uh, figured you'd be able to spare a bit more than that. And, you know, I'll take whatever I can get. Uh -huh. Don't worry about me. Uh, I've already got a job waiting for me. Krita, the manager over at the Zerka Supply Shop, said I could come work for him if I ever get tired of the mines. Yeah, I think I'll go take him up on his offer. You know, uh -huh. maybe there's something else you can help me with. I need to talk to a guy first and set up the details, but if you're interested in a job, come see me and greet a shop. Goodbye, Mission. Uh, I'm glad you're not dead. Hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, seriously? Nothing for that? Alright. Still. Alright, that's not too bad. And what's on this side? Hello. <laughs> You're not the ghostly giants that had us trap. The people of sand. You're from the old city new. I thought Yoda was bad. <laughs> Same people said you can go. Is this will reward in trade? Okay. He'll trade fair. I hope so. Yay! Hopefully they'll pay me enough after what I paid the deadbeat. Oh. That's tempting, but uh... Don't think something disrespect and we all die? Is that what I remember? I'm pretty sure that's what I remember. Alright, 
Let's check the rubble. Or not. Ooh, heavy plating type 2. Yes, please. Motion sensors type 1. Okay. Advanced targeting computer, advanced computer tool, okay. I think I got some upgrades for my buddy over there. Parts and, oh, 84 credits. Okay, I think I, <laughs> between that and the stuff I got off of one of the other corpses, I might just have my uh, deadbeat boy's money back. Come on, guys. You gotta give me room to get out of here. Yeah, there's a part of me that really, really wants to loot these wicker baskets. But, I'd also like to not... Alright, what's in the right pile? Bantha fodder. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I am going to need some of that, too. I need three of it, and I think I've only got two so far. I'll have to double check. Alright, Sand Beef Warriors. That's where the leaders meeting was, right? Wicker basket. Ah! Dang it! That is not what I wanted to do! Shoot. You know what? No, no, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go back to the temp. I'm gonna load that back up, I'm gonna run through that again real quick. I'll try to zip through it a little bit quicker this go around, and this time save afterwards, because yeah, no, I'm not getting down dark side points because I misclicked on something. Spend the glitch. The game. Alright, let's load from there. Okay. Next time I'll save after more of the work. Doggone it. That's that's about forty five minutes down the drain. Alright. Well, not completely down the drain. Alright, so we got that. We got that. Those guys with bombs and things. Master? And he's going to need a regular repair kit. There sure. we go. I'm going to have to go run through the desert again because I know there was a couple of corpses and things to loot. Some things to find. Well, remind me next time, after the Zerka Corp, to do a quick save. There's that corpse. There was the Twilight Corpse that had some other stuff there. Twilight Corpse that was not Griff, thankfully. That's right, he had the thermal detonator. There was something else that had some cash in it too, wasn't there? Is that over here? Alright. still burns me up. I thought for sure we would already been set. Yep, 
Thank you for that. Got one of the corpses. No. Those are more of the people. The beautiful people. The beautiful people. Oh man. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get in the habit of saving a little more frequently, guys. Sorry about this. Running around. I kind of wish that there was a better, um, better, more automated mechanism for saving stuff, too. That would have helped. And a better way to see stuff. Yeah, like, I see that there's a thing there. There's the life support pack. Corpse? No. Yeah, I couldn't see if the basket was locked or not until I went ahead and tried to click on it. And trying to click on it, went ahead to try to open it, which was clearly not what I intended to do. But that, yeah, that just, that's going to bother me for a bit. Alright. I'm moving forward. So... Knowing that I don't get any light side points for giving Griff a hundred credits, as I kind of expected the game to do, because it seems to be kind of weird like that. Alright, that's everything except for directly there. And of course she did. Yeah, I really did. I really did expect that with the uh, with the hundred credits, you would have gotten light side points. Although, good on the game developers, because that that is feeding an enabler. So this time, I'll give them fifty credits, and I know that there's about eighty some odd and some of the debris floating around, and that should be enough to uh, to cover my losses and then some. I mean, it's not much of a profit, especially since some of this is uh, spent on med packs and whatnot. Alright. There's six credits. Always useful. This was where we ran into the problem with the save earlier. I'm going to go ahead and try the temp save anyway. Just in case it lets me do this again. To the sand people entrance. Okay, good. He has obviously recognized you. He is astounded that you are here. Your disguise may have allowed you to pass the turrets outside, but it is ineffective at close range. Thank you. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Alright, this might be an unnecessary delay, but since I'm already starting back over at this point, why can you Cautionary. understand why I can't? I am unsure, Master. Now is not the time for speculation, however. <laughs> I will attempt to address your question later. Okay. Tell him we are not a threat. Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Alright. Apologize for being here, so we want peace. Yada yada. Translation. He is expressing disbelief. As am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chieftain. Extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but Yeah, it is I bet your you would fault. much rather this get bloody. <laughs> he clearly despises all outsiders. Again. Just like before. Translation. 
translation. Yaddy, yaddy, I yaddy. can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Uh, we want a peaceful solution. Translation. 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 <laughs> he claims he has no, no reason, reason to believe you, Master. You're kind of tainted kind of this tainted land with machines yaddy, and yaddy. uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make hey, a contribution to his people that shows feet. we are not a threat. Really just Shall want to walk I blast right him now, now, Master? Ask him. Ask him what he wants. Translation. Let's he move plans his people, to move his people farther from water. We need to get some evaporators. But they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Uh, I wonder if we can get it to Translation. do it at this point. Worth a try. Translation. He says that will never happen, Master. Ignorant outsiders continually desecrate their most reverential okay. customs. This will always demand a response. An attitude I can respect. Protocol. From his perspective, a reduction is already a large step. Right. It is doubtful it was worth we will get shot. agreement on much more than that. All right, we'll get his vaporators. Translation. He doesn't believe you. He does not mm -hmm. believe you, Master. We will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the vaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted, We're being escorted outside. outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get our armor back on. Okay. Okay. And now that I think about it, we did pick up that, uh... That's gonna bump his awareness up. Let's go... Yeah, let's please... Let's bump everybody's awareness up. Uh... Light plating... Type 2. Oh. Okay. That's the same either way. Or medium plating type 1. Okay. That's going to be the same no matter what. Alright. There we go. Yeah, that's right. And just like before, we're going to fast track to the Ebon Hawk. And we're going to go ahead and do another temp save this time. So if we do end up getting a reset again, we're not going that far back. Back to the hunting lodge. Go sell some raid plates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got something to sell you. I have a raid plate to sell. Show the sell list. Alright, uh... Da, 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 da. Come on, where'd you go? Yeah, I've only got one Bantha Fodder, so... I'll need to pick up a couple more of those, too. Three, two, one. Bam! We don't need the medium plating, either, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. I'm hanging onto those shields, though. Okay. Saving, loading. And I need to go here. Hello. Yep, yep, yep. What do you have for purchase? Something. Moisture evaporators. Exchange with the sand people. 400. The price you're asking for is too high. 
Yeah, cover no, your calls. No, no, no. You want to lower the price. Eh, who cares about regulations? Who cares about regulations? Alright, 200. Fine, fine. Yep. Yep. Okay. Since we made just short of a hundred on um, those plates, we at least got that much. We at least have close to half that. And about fourteen credits off of the corpse in the front of the in the front lobby of the sand people. So yeah. Let's go knock off the uh, four raid oh, yeah. next time through. Just like we did the last time. Just out of curiosity, do you have anything you to say? No. Alright, onward and forward. Hello, gate guard. Oh, it's good Things. hunting. Good hunting out there. Come here, you walking credit files. We gotta do this again. You can run, but you're only going to die tired. Yeah, well. Alright, instead of stasis, let's go ahead and do the whirlwind. And then go from there. And we'll get some flurries in on you. No, 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 no. Come on. Just like I said the first time. Force whirlwind on him. Then flurries on him. Hey, flurry in the Well, this is turning out worse than I was expecting. Seriously. <sighs> sure. Trying to load up some of the power attacks on these guys. Let's get you to die. You guys to double down on them too. <laughs> I hope so. Four credits. Where'd you go? There you went. Hey. Come here. I hate to do this. Thing, but, uh... No, I don't hate this. I'm not all that fussed about doing this here. Come on. Get him. Twenty-four credits. There we go. 
That was almost bad. Using more med packs let's go around. Not sure how I feel about that one. Although I kind of wish the uh, cure would regen a little bit faster. And going to her again, but oh wait, no, wrong cure. Should top it off. You guys are very nice, all right? You know what? Let's go ahead and save again in our temp spot. All right. Nice sand people. There we go. Don't mind me. I'm just on a fetch quest from your boss. It seems that none of us can get through the desert without triggering a trap. Despite our awareness. Or so-called awareness, apparently. Uh, I, I've been poisoned. Oh, uh, I've been poisoned. traps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not got more stuff in it. Take me to your leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's disgusted by your presence among his people. Can you not take so long as I Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Translation. Translation. He will take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Translation. He did not expect, did not us, to expect return, us to return. Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. We have the moisture evaporators. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. They will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation, the attacks will be attacks reduced, will be and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. All right, I have Protocol. a few questions. If you truly want this sadly, this sadly peaceful, peaceful arrangement peaceful to arrangement. continue, be careful of what you ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's he know about the Starlink? I forgot to ask that the last time. It's kind of a blessing about going to this game. Translation. He says that what you seek is far from here in the eastern dune oh. sea. He will give you a map so you can find your way. Translation. His people huh. found it but didn't scavenge it because a crate dragon took up residence oh. in the excavation. Oh my. Translation. <laughs> Translation, your ignorance isn't his concern. He claims there is a hunter that wanders the area sometimes and that you should ask him. Translation, the hunter is a twilight. He will be in the eastern dunes. Your ignorance is not my concern. Go on. Clarification, right. we must Let's find be out about the captives. Master. Let's get permission they to uh, get organics. our various uh, start with missions. Brother. I don't want to. He's a jerk. Translation. He says that by his very presence, this griff defiles their home and land. He is without any semblance <laughs> of usefulness to them. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That would be Griff. Extrapolation. I would assume we are free to take him. It is doubtful they will even waste the effort to kill him. Perhaps we could do it, Master. 
I give mission the option first. What does he know about the Jawas? Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that the they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Alright. Yeah, any other questions? We should not keep him long. It is an insult to take too much of his time. Unless the plan is to blast him when you are done, of course. Do I try my luck with the culture talk? No. Translation. No. Look, 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 look. I've gotten lucky enough already, so uh Translation. We are free to leave. Actually, you know what? Save game. <laughs> the sandpaper chieftain seems grateful to you, or at least less inclined to smash your head open like a Pocky grub seed. What do you wish to ask of him, Master? Pocky. I could really go for some Pocky. Oh, that's not what he meant. Okay. <laughs> Information on the sand people this culture. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your careful questions with your or questions. risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Alright. Uh, why so hostile? Translation. He says that the fact that you have to ask, this is just one more example of your ignorance as an outsider, Master. Well, if you don't he tell me, you I, if fine. you tell me, I won't be ignorant. Translation. His people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. Uh. You remove yourself. Translation, that act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You could never understand how unwelcome you are. Um... No, I'm pretty sure that gaffy stick tells me exactly how unwelcome I am. But, okay. What do you mean, raise myself above the land? Translation. He says that outsiders use machines to convey them and to make their lives easier. This severs a connection with the land. Translation. Connection to the soil must be made through flesh. A sacred, a sacred animal, animal huh? is the only external tool to be used. Um, so I bargain for the vapors. Translation. He says that the use of these blasphemous things will only be tolerated because outsider interference has forced it upon them. Translation. Okay. If your kind had not come here, he would not have to defend their ways or their land. That's fair. So how does he have contact with the land while completely covered? Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that the robes are sacred, Master, and you would not understand. Okay. Sand people are never uncovered outside of the most private moments. What about the history of the clan? Translation. He says that he will not, Master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and only hmm. he may recite okay. the histories. Could we meet the storyteller? Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly Convenient. out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. Alright. Could I prove that I'm a worthy warrior? Might be bad, but... Translation. He doesn't know, Master. His people usually kill 
outsiders, since you are an outsider yourself, that would not suffice. Translation, the greatest challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, okay. the largest predator on Tatooine. Fight one of those, and bring back a dragon pearl. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe an outsider could do such a thing. Okay. Well, I know where to find one. He just told me that earlier. Uh, what is the dragon pearl? Uh, do I need to split him open like a clam? Or? Translation: Stones polished in the gullet of the beast. Apparently, they okay. are valuable items. All right. Translation. Note to self, I need to uh, grab a pearl off that dragon. We are free to leave. Alright. Don't touch the wicker baskets. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and do another save. Okay. way we had Griff off to one side right these are all warriors hello Griff uh, you there I'm uh I'm a high rank yeah yes. bigger Do world you, you don't me? recognize mission. these missions is it really you I have to ask you something uh, well yeah you mean it's drama true? drama family drama uh, that's more it? drama well that and uh, we already went through this earlier so if you're just now joining in Rewind. <laughs> All right, go yeah, run to Anchorhead. Yeah, you can find your way from there, right? Uh, well, I... You're hitting yeah, me you up. You can hit her up for credits. Uh, she'll cool down in time. Don't be uh, so sure. She'll be okay. We had our fights before. Too bad, though. I really could have used a helping hand right now. You may have saved uh -huh. my life, but I don't have a single credit to my name. Say, you wouldn't be able to spare yeah, me man. some credits uh, just till I get back on my feet, you know? Uh, That's it, 50. huh? Figured you'd be able to spare yep, a bit no, more no. than that. Take what you, you want. Know, I'll take whatever You're I can create as the manager over at the Zerka Supply. You See know, the Zerka maybe Supply there's store. Else. Goodbye, Mission. Yada, yada. Hmm. Okay. Alright. And let's loot the corpse. Yeah, I want to talk to her, but right now is probably not the best time. You know, the Giants is is the same people said you can go. Run to Anchorhead. Yada yada. Off you go. Alright. There they are. Don't touch the box. But we could search the rubble. Alright. Alright, so I picked up a bunch of droid stuff. Let's go ahead. Advanced computer tool. Computer use plus four. Ah. Uh, much as I really want to do that, I don't think his... I don't think computer uses his thing... No, yeah, computer... <laughs> yeah, computer uses in his bag, so I'm not going to worry too much about that one. Uh, but I'll definitely check the other guy. That's awareness. That's another awareness. And that gives weapons focus, blaster pistol, weapons focus, blaster rifle... I think he's already got it. Weapons Focus Blaster Rifle? Yeah, he's already got Weapons Focus Blaster Rifle. All that would do is get him Weapons Focus Pistol in the mix. And... As much as I would like to do that, I don't... 
I don't think I'm going to find a pistol that is better than the rifle that he has. So I'll hold off on that one. Uh, that was the same advanced computer tool. He's got the shield disruptor and a flamethrower. The stun ray could be nice, but I'll hold off on that real quick. All right. What? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I get to level up. Attributes. Hmm. Tough choices. I can start on Wisdom or Charisma. It's not going to give me an immediate benefit, but in another four levels, that could mean some extra points either to my will save or to my charisma related skills. Either way, I get better force points and force powers. Uh, intelligence helps me with skill points, but that's not really been a problem. Khan helps me with hit points, which uh, I've never heard somebody say I have more than enough hit points. Dex is pretty high already. I mean, I'd love to bump it up a little bit more. It just means that I'm more likely to hit. But I've got a 16 with another plus 2 in equipment. Strength would be nice because it really would help with some of the damage output when I actually do hit them. Uh, but. Here's the question. Do I need... More force points. Or do I need force points more than I need hit points? More force points means I get more use as a cure. Which is almost like having more hit points. Except that takes a turn. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, no, that's a different game. That's Tuesdays. Uh... Let's, uh... Modifiers of force points... And... Alright. Much as I would love to keep pumping up decks, I've got other places that need shoring up. Much as I would love to bump up strength, with the better damage output. It's going to be down to constitution. Alright. Constitution, wisdom, or charisma. And really, do I want a higher will save? Which will help as we move forward and go towards, uh, or go up against force wielding people. Will saves are always nice to have. Charisma is going to help with any persuade attempts and that sort of thing. Although it seems most of the persuade options now have a force persuade, uh, which could always be of use. So let me go ahead and bump the wisdom. That helps my powers and it helps the will save and it's a little more forward looking. Because I have a funny feeling that as we progress, we're going to start going up against more force users and having a higher will save would be uh, of great importance. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I definitely want to keep my computer use up. Repair up. Except you know what? I really need to get that treat injury up. So we'll get that up to 12. Ooh, what powers do I have? All right. I can take, move up from cure to heal. This power heals all. All right, this power heals all party members in a 15 meter radius. Each party member gains 10 vitality points as opposed to the five. Plus one point for every charisma 
modifier, wisdom modifier, and level of force user. Poisons are neutralized by this effect. Ooh. Okay, that makes heal very nice. Hello, General Leia. Thank you for the follow. Uh, force aura, that's restricted by armor. I've been trying to lean away from those. Energy resistance, always nice. Can I make? Nope, stasis field is not an option yet. Uh, surge of power, okay, stun, okay, stun droid is always an option too. And now we're getting into the dark side powers, and I can't force wave yet. We're back down into the dark side stuff, and throw lightsaber is always an option too. Uh, the damage output is not the best, but it's guaranteed damage. Like, it's not even a roll to hit. It's one to six for every two levels of the attacking character. It always hits. Having an attack that always hits is very nice. On the other hand, having a free anti-poison. Yeah, no, I'm going to go with the heal. Okay. Except... I'll pick up a throw saber when something else comes along. If something else comes along that uh, makes that make a little more sense. I go ahead and do my quick temp save. All right. I've looted all those. What was it here? Oh, that's one of those bins we're not going to touch. There's the people we're not going to talk to. Because respect and all that, right? Yep. Bins we're not going to touch. People we're not going to talk to. The rag pile had some bantha food. It didn't get mad at me the last time. Or does it? Okay, that's the exit to the Dune Sea. More of the sand people. And yeah, that brought us right back to the beginning. Okay. Time to head out to the Dune Sea. To see what we can see. Alright, let's leave this area. And let's make our way across to the entrance. Yeah, we're going to head over to the Dune Sea entrance. I'm going to talk to Mission real quick to see if she's got follow-up on her brother. And then I'm going to swap her out for a, for a more useful party member. Ready! Yeah. Repair kit. Fix yourself, man. Yes. Figure in that mind. Go fix yourself. All right. Uh, am I going to the right exits? That is to the Dune Sea. That is to the same people enclave. Oh, I never finished filling in that area over there. The second time around. Let's go finish that out real quick. This time without the uh, resetting of progress. Anything there? No. Just a corpse. Alright. Filling them up. Anything else along the edge than the uh, border. 
So that should put us right back to where we've already done, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. Alright. Come on, guys. Back down the line we go. I know, I know. We just walked. Don't make me pull this party over. <laughs> Alright, before we walk into the Doom Sea... Do I want to turn in the anchorhead portion of this endeavor? Ooh. That's right, because I need to go talk to the Jawas about uh, freeing his people. Let's do that. Let, let's. Get, I know I just walked all the way over here, and I'm just about to walk into that area, but let's go back to the Ebon Hawk. Let's do our chat with mission Hey there. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? We'll talk about Look, your brother. I'm happy Griff's alive, but I'm mad at him right now. And I don't know what kind of job he's got for you, but I don't trust him. It's probably just okay. another scam. I don't trust him either. So, is there anything else you need? Nope. Okay. Have it your way. All right. And let's go to the party selection. And I love you, kid, but I need somebody a little more useful in a fight. Um, so that's going to be Candors or Bastila. Candors or Bastila. Let's go with Bastila. I'm pretty sure I'm going to want her when I get to the actual star map portion of this endeavor anyway. Okay, so we got... <laughs> so, I now have a party of lawful evil and lawful good. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even 100% convinced that he's... That she... It's been a very long time, Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang. Or for your father, I'm not expecting this. Oh. Oh. Is that how you twist the saber once it's in? I just want to know if your mother's condition was better. Uh. Oh. Seriously. I've not seen my mother thing. since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she did she say anything about my father? Uh, oh. I see. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? Oh. I don't remember seeing her in the canteen. But okay. Should I go walking around the planet with everybody then? Uh, I guess we should go see your mother. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she's really sick, well, we shall see. Okay. I guess I'm making another detour along the way here. I wasn't planning on that one, but uh, okay, we can do that. I mean, we're already making other detours for our minions and crew. Alright, but first, let's go sell those plates we picked up earlier. Yep, taking a break. I have something to sell you. I have a raid blade. Yep, bread and butter. Show me the sell list. Alright, and... Sold the last one. But now I'm wondering if I'd not hold on to that. Alright, uh, I'll hang on to that for the moment. Alright, raid plate. So, 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 so. Ooh, 
Heavy plating type 2. That's a 10 bonus. Okay. I need to see if uh, my little astromech droid could use some of those updates too. So I'll hold off on selling those. Actually, I know he's going to use at least one of them. All right then. What? Uh, yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I got the... Uh, oh, this is perfect. I got Basila, who will almost certainly love me for... I'm sorry. What are you talking about? And I got the droid, who will s almost certainly love me for... Step back, you fool. I don't like your tone. Alright, what are we talking about? Um... What? My mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Um, why do we have the feeling I stepped in the middle of something? Uh, is she still there? Ooh. Well then. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. So, who else is going to cause trouble for me? Maybe I really do need to go running around with every different combination of uh, companions. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? I have Gaffy I see that, but do you have the all-important Chieftain's Gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Here it is. Well, that is a very big headache that you've removed. I'm sure there are still sand people out there, but they'll be quieter now. I think I'll give you a bonus for this. Ooh, you've more take than lived up to your side of the bargain. Zerka Corporation thanks you. <laughs> oh. You want to give me an additional reward. Oh, that's so tempting. No, no, no. I'm no, sure. No, 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 no. Zerka Corporation thanks you again. Neutral good. Still good. But neutral good. Okay. Alright. <laughs> oh, that was so tempting. But I'm really trying not to get the dark side points. And I'm pretty sure Madame Bastila there would have uh, caused a bit of trouble if I had. Oh, that's the swoop registration. Canteen has got to be down this way a little bit more. Yeah, got anything nice? Sand stays all the streets. Okay. The cantina. So, I guess I need to look for the arrogant lady causing problems. Alright, that must be this new person. Yeah. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, Mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well uh -oh. as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Master. Oh. That is part of the reason why I was looking for you. So there's another step. What, what did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already just flinging insults at me. Tell me, Ooh. you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? <laughs> do you treat your mother this way? Only if she deserved it. <laughs> oh, I love some of the options this game gives you. I may have to do another run being a complete and utter dark side a-hole and just <laughs> <laughs> alright uh, 
So do I want to throw back another stab with my mother is long dead or hey, leave me out of this? Yeah, my mother's long dead. Well, I'll be joining her soon enough, I suppose. I was oh. told you were sick. Okay. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such mm. sweet things, you say. Oh, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. I hadn't oh. realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here mm. for an expedition, do you? I feel like you I want to blame for me this. for his death. You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for Crete Dragon Pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a Crete Dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Oh, don't be insulted. Oh. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it. Is it too much Ouch. to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very hmm. busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. Um. Holy mother of family drama, Batman. Uh, no, I'm not going to do the why don't you get it yourself. Uh, do you want to find your father's what remains, though? Would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human, and the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his whole crime. An ignoble end to a fine man. And what about it doesn't seem sickness? to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, Mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't hmm. have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response As the galaxy turns. Very well. We look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Uncle. I would check along that route, dear. Do oh. please hurry. Now I'm wishing I had her out in my group earlier, because I'm willing to bet that one of the corpses that we couldn't loot earlier would have had the holocron. And I'm pretty sure the, the game's set up to not give you something if, uh, if it's not there. Alright. Because I know from double-checking on a couple of things that Griff wouldn't have been there if we didn't have mission in the group. Might have returned because of you. Okay, and yeah, about that reward. Uh, <laughs> give me more, you'll regret it. Short man. Uh, can you help out the star map? Sands of the East, the Eastern Dune Sea. Okay. So that's how the sound people are. Okay. So you're going to tell me that the sand people's map is, uh, okay. Do I want to see if he has, yeah, let's see if he has any new information. Something the sand people didn't tell me. Bigger than big machines. Jawas don't know how to fight something so big. Okay. There's a Twilight Hunter, seen many things, look in the Eastern Dune Sea when you go, and he may help. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Friend of the Jawas. Alright. It gets me a discount on droid parts, right? <laughs> hmm? Alright, oh, yep. see you again. Good hunting out there. Pass. Good hunting. Thank you. Goodbye. So I need to go find a corpse over by the north. Another corpse in the middle of the desert. Or is it going to be over by the eastern dune sea? Alright, 
let's check in front of the Sand People territory and then we'll head to the Eastern Dune Sea. Uh, oh, oh, does the journal actually tell me anything useful? Jim's brother... Oh, I, I forgot to stop by the Zerka supply shop. But I guess I'll be back that way in a minute anyway. Uh, Alright, I gotta bring a dragon pearl. Okay. So the journal is just saying by the Kite Dragon, which would not be to the north. Like it said in one of the other conversations. I hear the same people out in the distance. Alright. I know there's a couple of corpses I found and couldn't loot. And now I'm wondering if they're the ones... The Basilisk's father, or if I'm going to have to go into the Eastern Dune Sea. Hmm. But before I go... Let's get some credits. Sooner, sooner, sooner. Sooner is better. <laughs> Oops. I wasn't paying attention to health. Ready. That's what happens. I'm here. Power is Shoot. Uh, oh, because she doesn't have... Uh, Seriously, look at this. Okay. Oh, this is not going well at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She's about to die, isn't she? Yep. She's about to die. has been killed. Darn it. Alright, 25, 30, 25, 50. That should be as soon as I walk back into the desert. There we go. Let's try this again. This time with less dying. I guess it's because usually I've been taking them on two or three at a time, and that time I try to take them all on. And... I was not paying attention to my health. All right, let's try this again. Because uh, I've been spending credits and I really could use some earning credits. Let's cut around behind the group and try to take them just a couple at a time. Let's go around. Pretty sure these yahoos are not close enough behind me to make that work out all as well as I would like either. And she still burns through all her force points. is empty.
Then you can go about that. Sure. Got him up. Got him up. That won't let you do that. Throw some power blasts, see if she can help the situation. And she fell. There we go. At least there was that. There's one plate. Two plates. Three plates. Empty corpse. There's another one wandering about, but you know what? I'll get to that later. We could all use a little love and healing. While I'm waiting for the force points to rego, let's level you up. Skills. Let's get your repair, and you know what? Clearly, awareness could use a bump. And let's level you up. Let's keep your treat injury maxed out and awareness, since that's really the only skills you have. Powers. Um, hmm. She's not high enough level to take cure. She's not high enough level for force armor or valor. Don't want her using burst of speed. Resistance. Resistance is an option. Energy resistance. Uh, it's from sonic fire, cold, and electrical. And the regular resistance is... Huh. Okay. That could be good, too. Uh, she's not high enough for stasis or destroy a droid. Wound is a dark side power. Slow is a dark side power. She could get force whirlwind, which is always helpful. And the advanced throw lightsaber. Which is a nice bump on what she's already got. This power allows the character to attack up to three. Ooh. Alright. Uh, hmm. Better attack. Some resistances. Hmm. So she's been the buffing person with shield and valor. Let's go ahead and go... Force resistance is just against force powers. Energy resistance is against all the energy. Most of what I've been running against would benefit from energy resistance. 
but I'm going to need force resistance at some point in the future, and that's the only way to get the force immunity. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the force resistance now. That way it's available when we qualify for the force immunity, because uh, I got a bad feeling about that. Yeah, no. That's still a little ways away from the next level. Okay. Alright. Oh, hey. Everybody's healed already. Fancy that. Uh, are any of these corpses gonna help me out? No. And you? No. Alright. Let me go check at the uh, Crete Dragons first, since I gotta head there either way. And then, if I don't find the holocron, I'll go back to searching the sand dunes by the sand people and see if the holocron, her daddy's holocron, is over there. Well, let's check the eastern dune sea first. And here I thought they gave me a map for all this. Okay, fine. Show me a map order before I go getting yelled at about wandering off into the desert. Alright. What is off over here? Alright, that looks like the dragon. Over there, there be dragons. Let's finish checking out this area first and fill in the map that I thought I had. I thought the same people gave it to me. But apparently not. Worker markers. Shout out and chat if you see another body that I'm missing. Uh, doesn't look like that. Rust pile is lootable. More Zerka markers. That must be the path out to the sand people, right? We'll go through there, just okay to the sand people territory. I just want to know that where it goes. And there's our markers, so we should at least have the edge of the map worked out. Right. fill in more? You're going to fill in more. Of course you are. And we got that big old gap in the middle, so let's go fill that in. Any corpses? That, that seems something. I'm actually kind of surprised there's no Banthas over here either. Just these do backs. I wonder if they're one of the purified animals you can ride without contaminating the sand or whatever that chieftain was going on about. Alright, uh, you know what? This seems like a beautiful place to save the game. Yep. Save. Okay. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. Um, okay. <laughs> Words you never want to hear. How big could that dragon be? Especially when all you got is a pistol. Like, who sat there and heard the word dragon and thought, ah, he's a pushover. Alright. I thought I would see. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You're from the hunting lodge. 
perhaps with cooler skills. And a very special beast to slayer, a kite, a kite dragon, verse within. Tonight, he is the hunter. I thought you preferred the solo hunt. Where is the size of this one? Larger than the one my father killed a decade ago. And he is too far out of his territory and must be dealt with. Okay. That's reasonable. Uh... Why should we kill him? Um, complications from our presence. Alright, so we gotta fix the uh, overpopulation. Bright dragons feed on banthers with a number of species of eat. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Alright, 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 I got it. I got it. Right. We must bait the beast out of hiding and push him swiftly. There's no room to engage him in the lair. And his hide will repel blaster fire. Good thing I got sabers. Do I need to grab my other Jedi? I place mines around the mouth of the cave. We must coax him out. This is the end of the season of hibernation. It will take much to rouse him. Why do I get the feeling that I'm about to go find some panthers and bring him? The food of beasts this size is almost exclusively panthers and foolish hunters. Alright. Yeah, the mines don't seem too sporting. It's true and you regret it. Uh, yep, I felt so sorry about it as I eluded the dragon. <laughs> okay, kill him for the safety of others. For the safety of others. Need the mantis here Itam using a fodder like the sand people. Okay. I know why the merchant had some. In case I didn't get them from the sand people. If you find the fodder and bait the mantis here, the mines will deal with the dragon as it emerges to feed. Not glorious, but it'll ensure the safety of the region. Okay, okay. Yeah, that seems a little too easy. What aren't you telling me? <laughs> okay. The same people regard Banth as a sacred. Found that out. Attempting to feed the herd in this area will likely lead to attacks. So you're telling me I'm about to piss off the people that I've been trying to, uh, get all nice with? Uh, hmm. Dealt with their kind before. Hmm, nah. I have your father. Approach with the father and lead him here. I'll see what I can do. I wish you luck against the same people. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish it could be under more sporting circumstances. I don't believe you. Alright. Oh, look. Sudden herd of banthas is sudden. Not take a shortcut through the markers. Come here, Tasty Dragon Snack. That's what I need to name a character. Tasty Dragon Snack.
Oh. <laughs> the whole herd falls in step. Well, that was easy. Yeah, okay. So not that easy. If I can get them all stunned in one shot, eh? Keep double tapping, double tapping him. Keep that so be it. The force fights with me. Throwing the bombs. Cause I see some greasy spots on the I'll ground. What? Alright. So there all that is. You guys gonna keep following me? No. Do I need to talk to you again? Oh, talk to you again. There we go. Onward and forward. Achuta. Wonga could be stood. Achuta. Good job. Wonga Come talk to me. Stood. I'm talking to you now. Actually, you know what we're going to do before I talk to you? I'm going to save. Because you know it seems like a really good idea? Saving. I saw a journal entry too, so I'm wondering if uh, Desert Hunt Star Map, Bastila's Mother, Ruby History. Huh. Okay. Here I was thinking that it would ruin my uh, favor with the sand people. Quick, be ready. The Panthers are in position. We'll soon stir our restless prey. I hope the mines do their job quickly. Don't worry, I'm ready. Wait, who's our rumbling so? <laughs> He's a big one. That's just what you wanted to hear. We're about to attack a dragon. Crikey, he's a big one. Oh, look at the choppers on him. Yeah. I just made him mad. <laughs> Alright. It's done. And he's dead. Tonight in the final fight. 
But I will honor his memory with the credits I earned from his hide. Right? Is that it? Uh, hmm. Alright, we did what had to be done. There were higher reasons. Well, Fade's the same to me. Which I always said something similar to that. Thank you for your help here today. Sure. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Probably could have gotten light side points if I had told them to keep it all, but. Journal entry. Items received. What items did I receive? Show new items. I picked that up of a body, off a body. Oh, come on. You're going to show me everything new since the last time I checked for show me new items? Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of these were, uh... Ooh, I have a crate Dragon Pearl. Map of the Eastern Dune Sea. Okay. Yeah, I thought I had a map. But there's no use item. Alright, so I got a Crate Dragon Pearl. That will uh, help me take care of the sand people thing. Show me all the items. Okay. Let's close that. Ding dong, the dragon's dead. What am I... Oh, yeah. Let's see if, uh... The holocron and stuff is in the remains. Yes? No? Seriously? That's it? That was... Surprisingly anticlimactic. Alright, let's check the bodies. Do you have any loot? No. Do you have any loot? No. Let's see if the chewed human corpse has what we're looking for. Med pack, credits, Jedi Master Robe? And a blaster rifle? Uh, dude, who did you mug for a Jedi robe? Or what happened to your lightsaber? I'm not sure which. What about in the rubble? Ooh. A violet crystal. Yes, please. And what about this bit of rubble? Uh, ooh. Another crystal. I bet those are for lightsabers. And the chewed twilight corpse. Parts. Credits. A nerve amplifier belt. Okay. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of corpses, but not the one that has Daddy's little hologram. Right, uh, what about here? I'll do the star map last. Tattered equipment pack. Come. Yeah. What about you? You have a hologram. Okay. I'm curious. New items. All right. The Opila Crystal. Produces an intense beam. That seems extraordinary quick to the cut. I was really hoping for a more useful description. Oh, I can make a purple. <laughs> so that's how you get a purple lightsaber. Samuel L. Jackson, I am not. But if it gives me another benefit, I will happily tote a purple lightsaber. I hope that's not the only thing. Jedi Master Robe. Yeah, I think we've already got those on all the people that need them. The Belt Amplifier. Immune to mind-affecting stuff. That could always be nice. Some med packs, some parts. 
Holocron. This holocron has been cracked and worn by the sands and wind, but is still marginally operational. When activated, it shows the holographic image of a middle-aged human man and appears to have been used as a means to record his personal thoughts over many years. Hmm. Okay. So there is the quest thingy. Shall we chat How can with I help? Do you want About to talk? Mother. I'm unsure. <laughs> I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find I've heard that, that disturbing. Uh, hmm. Yeah, she certainly I told you that my mother you. and I never got along. <laughs> Obviously, that has not changed. Yeah, thank you for Your that understatement. That leaves a hurt inside you just can't imagine. I haven't seen him in so long. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. Um. How can I help? Do you About want my mother? I'm unsure. I seem to find it difficult to remain objective when it comes to her. I find that disturbing. Uh, why didn't you ask I have my doubts sickness? as to whether she's actually sick. Why would she lie? used to lie about many things to get her way. She's a selfish woman who pushed my father into doing what she wished. <laughs> there, yeah, I, I guess there really is no other conversation option. You sound yes, bitter. I thought I'd let go of that anger. You know, all my training and it comes Jedi back training. so quickly. I don't want to talk about this There's anymore. only peace. Let's keep going. How can I help? Yeah, I just had about one other question. Uh, are you going to give the holocron to her? You know, that would just lead to another argument. How I always despise talking to her. I'll think about it. I should try yes, and remember try my and training. remember your training. I should be able to let go of this. But I can't. Serenity. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's keep going. Okay. Well. Do you want to talk about your feelings? Mr. Killamall? Right. We know your feelings. Kill them all. Go ahead and save. I'm not a fan of doing stuff twice. Hit the start map. Bam! Look at that map. Statement. Action. I Thing. believe there can be little doubt that we have found the star map you were seeking. I am surprised it is still working after all this time. I do not think it is mere chance that we have found the star map here, in the lair of a great dragon. The star map is an artifact of the dark side. Oh. The great dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power, only to be hmm. enslaved by it. Come, we should leave this place. There's nothing else for us here. Okay. Well, since we got everything we came for, right? Yep, we got everything we came for. We have uh, <clears throat> inspected all the bodies. We found the map. Let's work our way back over to the sand people. Oh! Hello, friend! I haven't seen you in a while. I have to give you credit. You've led me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Callow Nord in the end. Quite thank you. Got frankly, lucky I on thought Terrace. we left you dead. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome death. But I promise you, the Sith won't be getting in my way this time. Mm hmm. <laughs> you traveled a long way to die. That would have been if I was playing this like a Clint Eastwood character. Dying ain't much of a living, boy. All right. I think you got lucky. Let's do it again. Eh, let's see if we can Sorry, work out a deal. I'm not in this for the credits. You're the only ones who've ever gotten away from me. I've got a rep to protect. Let's go, boys. It's showtime. Alrighty then. Um, you've got not the cure. Force resistance. Let's hit everybody up with the Night Valor. Oh, wait, no. You won't do that yet. I'm what? here. Alright. Can I even... Can I even... Uh, 
close to that but we've got to get those minions out the way as quickly as we can uh, let's skip the flurry because I don't want the hit on defense and you know what go ahead and try to knock you out with a couple of power attacks sure. let's make this What the heck? What? You seriously walked all that way over there? Let's get another heal in there. What? what? three guys are dead. We just got that minion back there to deal with. Uh, I don't want to do this to you, Basila, but I hope we'll uh, get him squared away. Load up a couple of those and a med pack just to be sure. And let's get you a shield. Let's get you. Can you reach the Yahoo in the back? No, of course not. If you can hit him with a shield disruptor and power blast. What? <laughs> That went better than expected. Ho ho, payday. 2,000 credits. Couple of antidote kits, a Mandalorian heavy pistol, and Carlo Nord's battle armor. You know, I know a certain Mandalorian crewman who could appreciate a heavy pistol and some battle armor. All right. Well then, by the way, did your boy here have any loot? No. Did... Where did the other bodies go? Can I be worried that they disappeared already? I mean, like, I know this is the desert and all, but... That was... That was kind of quick. Alright. Huh. All right, I'll take it. And, uh, you know what, I'll go ahead and save one more time. Even though I just saved, I'll save again, because that battle went surprisingly well, and I wouldn't want to have to do that again. <laughs> All right, is he dead for good this time? Like, how, how do I go back and cut up his corpse just to make sure that he's, like, he's not mostly dead, that he's all dead? Can, can I do that? Is that a thing? No, you won't let me? Okay. I just wanted to make sure, you know. I thought he was dead back on Terrace, too, and then he shows up in a cutscene all mad about them getting away and stuff. Not our fault that you let a bunch of heavy debris fall on you and pin you down in the place that we thought we'd leave you to die. It happens. Just saying, you know? There's no lawful in my alignment. I'm not honor bound to rescue your corpse. <laughs> hey! Look at that! That bump to awareness now lets me see the mines over here. Sweet. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go solo mode. 
So I can go run around and do some disable mines. I really should try to recover them, but uh, I'm worried that my skill isn't that high. And all I'm going to do is sell them. And as much as I love the credits, I mean, I love me some credits, uh, that just that seems a needless waste. Turn solo mode off. Yep. All right, guys. Let us uh, head back. Keep an eye out for any corpses we haven't looted yet. I mean, inspected, you know, in case there are other mementos to send back to people. All right, that's how that works. Let's go see if we can talk to the sand people and get a uh, get a story. I mean, I could sell the pearl on the market, and it'd probably fetch a fair price. are blue, so you, you be happy over there. I'll be happy over here. Have you fed Jubby yet? Alright, let's go ahead and disable this mine here. I just realized what time it was and that the poor, the poor starving puppy, he just hasn't been fed. I'd show you a photo of him, but I'd need a extra wide lens for the fat puppy. <laughs> okay, he's not that fat. He's a chunky puppy, but he's not that fat. I've already looted you. Yes, I've already looted you. Nothing there. Hello, nice turrets. Please don't shoot me. I have HK still in my team. I really would like to have uh, translators. Hello, Mr. Warrior. Hello, Mr. Warrior. Alright, uh, where is the chieftain? That <laughs> seems grateful. Or at least less inclined to smash your head open like a Pocky grub seed. Like, I'm with the Pocky. And my sweet tooth. Gotta find Hurry. a, uh... What do you wish to ask of him, Master? Alright. Uh... Oh, do I have to go through the whole conversation tree again? Alright, fine. No more information. This will be a very sensitive yep. topic, Master. A very sensitive you topic. To be careful with your questions or risk offending him. Not that that is much of a worry. Alright, um... Mm -hmm. History of the clan. I think that gets us there quickest. Translation. You have been told that to be considered worthy of hearing the histories, you need to bring need him to a, bring dragon him pearl a dragon pearl from a from great a dragon. dragon. Translation. He says the discussion is closed until you fulfill this condition. He thinks you are just making fun of his traditions. Here is a dragon pearl. Translation. <laughs> he is stupefied, Master. He never thought you could return he never with such thought an item. You could do such, such a thing. thing has not been done in many years. Translation. Yeah. Well, guess what? He will allow you to meet the storyteller, but also gives a warning. If you dare to repeat, <laughs> if you the, dare histories repeat the histories incorrectly, you will, you will be killed. Translation. Mm. The storyteller will be summoned so get to one of right. the rooms here in the Enclave. He seems to think this is a great honor for you, Master. Alright. Very well, friend. Translation. Translation. We are free to leave. All right, let's go find the storyteller. You're a warrior. You're a warrior. Yeah, you're probably all Kingsguard type, right? Yeah, I, I'm not gonna click on you. I bet that's that room. All right, I bet that's the uh, room that was empty on the other side. Let's go f see if we can find the storyteller. That's where the prisoner was. That's where the other prisoners were. There's the stuff 
that we don't want to accidentally open. So I'm pretty sure I'm on his short list of people to kill. Those are the already looted stuff. Are you a storyteller? No. Warrior. So where's the, uh, where's the storyteller? Hello? Hello? Oh, come on, man. Can you make me run laps until he magically shows up? Ah, there's the storyteller. Hello, Master of Stories. <laughs> Relatively calm, and he still regards you coldly. How could you tell through all the cloth and wrapping? Right. Where is the translation? He identifies himself as the storyteller, Master. He has been told of your warrior skills and will speak the history to you. Um, I am on it. That seems safe. Translation. There is only one accepted history, passed orally <laughs> to each successive generation. Translation. A book or data pad can be taken away, cheapening the value of what it contains. To submit it to <laughs> paper or storage is to remove it well, from the Well, thank you for people. answering the question I didn't ask. All right. Translation. Translation. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, the history or none of the history. Gotcha. Translation. The only exception is in continuing the tales once they have begun. If you leave, when you return, he will continue from where he left off. Okay. Begin the history. Translation. It begins with the ancient, the ancient times. times. They were not they were sand, no sand people, people, for there was no for there sand. Was no sand. The land was green with life, and they walked without wrappings. Translation: Though the land was beautiful, they lived apart from the land. They built their walls high and saw oh. beyond the horizon. They dared to reach the stars. Translation: There are no words for how long ago this was. It was before the outsiders. Before hmm. the abduction, before the builders, before the cities fell, before the builders. the builders were the people who made the the builders were the ones that made the star maps, right? And the star forge, if I remember right. Can I ask questions about what I've heard? I should warn you, Master, that any questioning of their interpretation may be seen as trying to change the meaning of what was said. Clarification. They may consider this oop, to be oop, oop, speaking oop, oop, the oop, words oop. in error, a blasphemy they would attempt to kill you for. Right. Obedient. I will ask whatever you wish, Master. Alright, continue the history from where I left off. <laughs> I will not be asking clarification questions. His arrogant people touched the stars, huh. and this sin drew the attention of the builders. The builders did not touch the stars, they lashed them to millstones. Translation, great, great demons, demons of metal stripped of metal. the world of its riches, until all that was left was the green of the ground. The great cities oh. were lifted away. Translation, okay. Those that had used the wealth were taken along with it. Transgressors abducted to serve past the sky, seeding the stars with penitent, adaptable slaves. Oh. Okay. Translation. Well, else do we know? I do. Translation. There came a time when the builders were also judged for their crimes. After generations, a okay. plague, a plague weakened weekend, them, uh... and the time of the Great War began. Translation, the builders, the builders faltered. Fall. 
and his people realized why they had been punished, so that they understood the crime, and would now strike down the greater offender. Translation, they worked chaos, chaos the machine, machine, so they destroyed so themselves. They destroyed the, themselves. the builders fought back, laying waste the green that had been misused with fire from above. Translation, soil became glass, grinding to sand, but the fight was long planned, and his people were safe. Deep in cave homes carved from hmm. valley wall, they I wonder were if free. These are the same. Yeah, these are probably the same builders that, uh... Translation. I really want to question, but I don't want to start a fight. And I so do not want to start a fight. Uh, this section of his tale details several millennia of the <laughs> long walk, of the their long nomadic walk. wanderings as they accept their identity in a desert world. Rather than strain my circuits on his dialect, might we just assume there was much fighting over who has the biggest <laughs> bantha and move on to more recent things? There's a part of me that wants to gently encourage that, but on the other hand, A, if we disrespect the histories, we die, and B, I just don't like the way his tone is. Alright, I want to hear it all. Resignation. Very well, Master. <laughs> Several, uh, Several hours later. The tribe spread far, distant from each other, and all the sand people and all cherish the <laughs> land that remains. The sand, the sand would, not, would be not be misused. Translation. Then machines fell from the stars again. Outsiders See, like you get the that brazenly walked apart from the land. The last people had dropped down from the stars the and disrupt things come. with machines. Translation. These outsiders reminded them of their past transgression. Of the time when they too when walked, they apart, too from walked apart from land. The outsiders, your kind, looked like their Look ancient like abducted. Oh. So it is to the current sons that the sand mm. people hate all outsiders and give them no footing. You come again time after time, adaptable slaves to the machine. You look like the ancient captives. Interesting. Okay. Uh, is there anything further? Editing. The last thousand years are full of conflicts with different groups of attempted planetary settlers, all of whom are poorly described, long dead, and likely untraceable. <laughs> I believe I have truncated it down to the usable bits and what was already said. I hope it is enough, Master. All right. Yeah, I really want to ask questions, but I don't want to be accused of... Uh, I don't want to piss them off. Translation. We are free to leave. Alright. Well, isn't that nice? That's actually... You know, I, I've always thought the uh, sand people were just easy... Easy cannon fodder? Cannon fodder is probably not the right thing I'm thinking of, but... Uh, I always just a convenient adversary for it's dangerous to go alone outside. Here, take this. And to hear that they have a far more uh, intricate backstory. I'm now more than a little tempted to go see if I see what I can find. And uh, look up a little bit more about the history of the Sand People and see if there's anything in the uh, legends. You know, they used to be history, but we won't talk about that. We're trying to have a nice, friendly game. I, I remember looking into a little bit about Revan and finding some of the bits and pieces about this game when the, the Old Republic MMO was launched, and trying to learn a little bit more about that. So, I, I've got some bits and pieces. Uh, I know a couple of the twists in the game, and so I make sure that I don't miss anything. I have started actually looking ahead a little bit and trying to get a, a basic idea and make sure that I'm not missing it. Oh, jeez. Hi, guys. Don't mind me. 
Uh, I didn't intend to just, like, jump out in front of you and startle you. Hey, uh... I think you owe me 24 credits. I mean, you're about to be my 24 credits. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit him again. for that. I really, I think I've looted this corpse at least ten times. I, I kind of wish that when they were empty it would just, like, not give you the option. That, that would be really nice. Alright, onward and forward. And there you people are still sitting around, kvetching about how it's dangerous and I've taken care of the raiders, and you're still not leaving? Okay. Uh, nothing of use over there. I've already gotten what I can out of Izzas, so let me go to the cantina with Bastila in tow. We'll head on over to the hunting place and sell off the last of the raid plates. And then, I believe it is time to jet set on out of this place. Because we, we've completed everything, right? There's Karth, who is insecure. There's HK, who I do need to uh, try to further conversations with. Jahani, I probably ought to do something. I guess I gotta adventure with her to get her to talk more to. Uh, Candorous, I definitely need to equip with some stuff. We've discovered another star map. So we gotta deal with Basila's mother. We got Sine of Nico and the Swoop Racing. Uh, it's about 20 minutes till when I'd normally leave. Let me go ahead and try my hand at Swoop Racing to f and, uh, before I leave. And we'll go with that. Anchorhead. I'm trying to earn a little money in the races. But I never heard somebody say, I have enough money. <laughs> especially not in a game, especially not with uh, Home Skillet over at Yavin. Uh, offering us some really nice stuff. It's just kind of pricey. Alright, to the cantina. Hello, mother. Back already? Have you even looked for the holocron yet? I have the holocron. Seriously, lady. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed mm -hmm. Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. You think I don't remember the fights? You were eager to send mm -hmm. me to the Jedi even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No, I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. Uh, so don't want to get in the middle of this. Maybe you should listen you to what she has to say. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything yeah. you say, mother. <laughs> so who's going to be the first right. one? Shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. Your father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to chime in with treasure hunting is a dangerous occupation? 
Do I want to chime in with yet you let your husband go on these dangerous expeditions? Where is the option? Anon Jr. wisely decides the best course of action is to keep his mouth shut and let the two women do their thing. That's not an option. I, I don't I don't see a number three. Is that a hidden option? Like maybe if I hit three on the keyboard, it'll magically let me keep my mouth shut and stay out of this? No. Okay. Let's go on the uh passive aggressive offensive. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous <laughs> ones, but he would have none uh -huh. of it. It was a reckless life we had. Always moving. I didn't want that feeling. So that's why you gave me to the order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you, your father. Uh, he spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but... Your treatments? I'm dying, Bastard. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming. Hmm. And there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go. Let me go. But you know how he was. Stubborn. I I'm yeah, so they're sorry not the only two that are stubborn, maybe. To say. Keep the holocron, bastard. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked too. Well, you said you had important business. And you were never one to mince words. <laughs> you there. You take care of my daughter, you hear me? <laughs> Alright. Mm. I'll do my best. Bass looking take care of herself as if she'd let me. I'm not her keeper, is not the that no, no. I look. This sort of thing might not be my strong suit, but I know number four. That's a trap. All right, so I'll do my best. Can take care of herself as if she'd let me. I'll do my best. That's good. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch her. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. That's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after after what I have to do. But I already told you, there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again. Then we can talk. <sighs> oh, all right, I will. You do what you have to, Rastila. You go, make your father... Am I going to find I'm short 500 credits or those 500 so credits you magically had with you but couldn't contribute for some reason? I'm not sure which I'm more mad about. <laughs> I don't see a loss of money, so, you know... Okay, okay. Like, you had 500 credits all this time and you couldn't say nothing? You seriously had 500 credits all this time and you couldn't say nothing? <sighs> Why did the council send me with you on this mission? Why does that not feel like the right question to ask right now? Because that's probably not the right question to ask right now. Yes. So do you feel better? That brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Well, that's what Thank we're supposed to be about, right? It. After all my training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. How can I help? Why did... Okay. I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others. Especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides... The events on Taurus proved that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mm -hmm. mission. And so you're saying we've been a chance when forced the force is together? Is that not enough for you? Sorry. <laughs> uh, it just seems obvious. Send me off without a master to guide me, which is nice. Oh, oh, come on. I can't resist. If the Force wants us to be together, why do you keep resisting my undeniable charm? I said we were brought together for our mission, to stop <laughs> Malak. I hardly think the Force would be pushing us toward a romantic involvement when the fate of the galaxy is at stake. Please, you never know. stay focused. 
I doubt the council would approve if they knew we were busy discussing our mutual attraction when we should be saving oh. the galaxy from Malak. Okay. Aha. Mutual attraction. I, I never knew. said it's just an expression. <laughs> whatever our feelings. <laughs> I mean, whatever your feelings, you have okay. to try to ignore them. Don't let this complicate things. Finding the missing pieces of the star maps is our only hope of locating okay. the star Okay, that was fun. That was worthwhile. Malik. The council explained all this quite clearly. Alright, just seems odd. They sent me off without an astro to guide me. There were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the council to test my own abilities. I get the feeling there's more the going on. I wondered if wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. And then I realized how foolish such thoughts were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council I also think we were talking to, to the C team from they the Council. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. I guess that makes sense. Trust in the wisdom of the council. Oh, I trust in the wisdom of the council. The A team over in Coruscant. Not these yahoos. Uh. No, 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 no. No, resist the the smart remarks. I would like to tease her though. You're the one who thought this was her big audition for Masterhood. Oh great, another lecture. No, no, no. You're right. I suppose we should Come get on. back to the Come. mission now. Let's move on. There's much to be done. No XP for successfully navigating mother-daughter conflict? Like, that's gotta be worth at least an extra 100, 200 XP. Okay. That really, that's got to be worth a lot more than 100 or 200 XP. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. So I got 10 minutes. Yeah, instant level. <laughs> All right. Yeah, 10 minutes. Let me go ahead and try my hand at a race. Let's uh, go ahead and save the game. I really am wondering who else I got to run around on this rock with to uh, to trigger questicles and other things like I, I might do that in between this episode and the next episode just uh, I'll have the recording software ready and uh and exit the and just exit see if something pops up recorded if it does if not no big alright let uh what is the track record? Nico was withdrawn for the time being. Oh yeah, that's right. That's the other part of the side quest. What do you have on me? Nothing yet. Uh -huh. Okay. I thought you said you had something. Besides, everybody else seemed to know about my record in Terrace. You guys know nothing? Alright, Zorus, track leader with 2251. Right. So, I'm guessing that this is like, uh, this 2329. And Garm, 2390. So, I'm guessing this is like Terrace, that. They're gonna, uh, yada yada yada. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking and reading about this at the same time. Do you want to race? Yes, I want to race. I'm guessing this is going to be like Terrace, where all I really have to do is barely beat it. And then they're going to barely beat mine. And then I just got to barely beat that. So I got to figure out how to sandbag enough to get a little bit better than 2251. Right. Yeah, I know there's money in it. Why do you think I'm standing here? Alright, let me try a recreational run real quick. Just so I can see how hard I got a sandbag to uh, just barely beat the 2251. 
This is Pod Racing. No sandbagging. That was 30 and some change. Yeah, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go practice that run a little bit off camera between here and there. Because that, that's not going to get me any time trials. That, mm, that was kind of sad. Alright, let's head by Zerka Corp real quick and see if... Uh, What's-his-face is... Uh, um, no, I didn't drop it, but I was hoping to switch out, switch in mission for this next part, but... Uh, I'm sorry, there must be some mistake. Okay. Data pad is yours and yours alone. Please take it. Hmm. Uh, is this some kind of con game? Yeah. Look. And if I keep on a blaster at the ready like that, oh, no, here I am with the sword in my hand, so. Uh, thanks. You should examine it make sure it's not broken. Okay. I wish I had mission out for that. Because I have a funny feeling this is related to her brother. Uh, cut up so I can get the, uh, the kid in. Alright, let me go here. Let me go to party selection. I love you, man. But I'd rather have the Jedi handy for this one. Okay. Oh yeah, she's gonna have to level up too. Let's level her up real quick. Skills. Demolition. Stealth. Security. And let's bump up treat injury. Okay. Beats, she gets sneak attack six. <laughs> nice. All right, she's already done the master duelist. Scoundrel's luck is probably going to come as a part of her normal bit. All right, she is doing the duelist solo pistol. So here's the question. Do I want to get her blaster... Weapons Focus Blaster Pistol, which is going to bump up her attack by one. Do I want to keep going down the Sniper Shot? So it really does drop the defense, and all that does is increase the crit threat range. Uh, that's Critical Strike. Caution. Yeah, I didn't really want to do that. Uh, bumping up the armor proficiency isn't going to help her. We already got her some really nice light armor. So we could do rapid shot. Which... Hmm. Got rapid shot and power blast. She's been doing power blast already, but I want to say that that's from one of the items that gives her improved power blast as a bonus feat. Since I've already got that as a bonus feat on board, let's go ahead and open up our options a little bit with the uh, rapid shot and do that. All right. You gonna magically level up when I'm not looking? Okay, good. All right, let's go back to... Here's our Mandalorian heavy, heavy pistol. Always nice. Arlo Nord's battle armor requires heavy proficiency. Good thing I know somebody that does that. Resist cold, fire, sonic. Upgradable. Ooh, 
I wonder if it's already upgraded or not. Probably not, but... Alright, datapad. This datapad contains a single short cryptic message. The Gino Hadarian says to see Hulas on Manan, come alone or not at all. Alright, I bet this is about her brother. So this is going to continue on Manan. We got the Tatooine Star Map, Antidotes, Desert Raid, Blaster Rifles, alright. Well then. Uh, let's still check in at the office. Oh, is that... There he is! Ah, just the huh. person I was hoping to see! Hmm. Yeah. Save it, Griff. I'm not talking to you. I want no part of whatever you're involved in. Okay, sis, I see you still mad. Fair enough. I don't think you could help me with this anyway. It's uh, more of a job for your friend here. Uh. Huh. As you may know, TAC glands can be refined to a very potent powder. It's the primary ingredient in Teresian ale. That's what makes it so strong. Okay. Of course, now that Taurus is pretty much wiped from the face of the map, Teresian ale has become somewhat scarce and uh, very, very valuable. Luckily, I know the secret recipe. Mm -hmm. So you want to open a guy. bar? He's with the exchange. Now, if I give him a small sample of Torizian ale, he says he can synthesize it and reproduce it in mass quantities. Uh -huh. Problem is, I need one of those tack glands to make the first batch. And now that Taurus is a smoke and ruin, the only place to find tack is on Kashik. If you can get your hands on one of those tack glands, huh. I'll make it worth your while. Griff, are you blind? Can't you see you're talking to a Jedi? We're out here trying to save the galaxy. We can't waste time on this. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I promised this guy from the exchange a sample <laughs> of Teresian ale. If yeah, I don't come that's the part him, I was waiting for. He's gonna break my legs, or worse. Uh, that's what you get for dealing with exchanges. What I really want to do, but it's still her brother. I mean, poor sucker that he is. Yeah, I knew you'd come through for me. You won't regret this. You'll see. Uh, just, just don't take too long, okay? This guy from the exchange could stop by any day. I kind of told him I already had the stuff, so if he shows <laughs> up and I'm empty-handed, well, yeah, well, let's just say I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. Let's just say I really, really think you're not about to survive this endeavor. Alright, so let's go ahead. Alright, looks like I'm not leaving the planet just yet, because I do... I might go ahead and try my hand at the races. What about that big fight on the dunes? Or the talk of the lodge? Kill the dragon. How about that? Uh, we're gonna have something to sell. Let's take a look. I have a raid plate. Yep, yep, yep. Where is my cell list? Alright. Not gonna do the stun ray or the shields. I might, yeah, I'm gonna have to go through my droids options, but there is raid played. Four, three, two, one, bam. Keeping the stems, response and cardio package. Four, five, da, 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 da. Okay. I don't need a regular blaster rifle, that's for sure. Maybe that is all there is to it. It's just purple. I hope it's more than that. Could I master a robe? Okay, so the master robes are probably better than what she's already got. Alright, we'll deal with equipment and all that as we go.
Yeah, let's go ahead and get back onto the ship. Because we've actually hit one. I normally call it a night. Your brother. His plan. I got a bad yeah. feeling about it. He doesn't know anything about brewing Theresian ale. And now I he's got himself that. mixed up with the exchange. Sometimes Griff can be so stupid. Part of me just wants to let him get what's coming to him. Uh, neutral good. Can't turn Why your back not? on your brother. He turned his back on me. He abandoned me on Terrace. So maybe I should just leave him high and dry now. Maybe a couple broken kneecaps will do him some good. Ooh. Maybe that's just the kind of Ooh. jolt he needs to turn his life around. Only, what if they do something worse? They might kill him. I don't want him to die. He doesn't deserve that. But I just can't keep supporting his crazy schemes. Someone has to teach him a lesson. Uh... <laughs> you have to stick by your family, even if they're slime. No one can teach him this lesson. He's got to learn it for himself. You got to stick by your family. No one can teach him. You got to stick by. Uh, you got to stick by yeah, your family. I guess you're right. I'm not going to change him. Griff is going to keep on being Griff. Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work out. Or maybe he'll finally see the light and turn over a new leaf. I know it's not likely, but it's all I have to hope for. Well, okay. Hey there. What can I do for you? You got anything else to mention? Maybe if we get these tat glands for him, things will work. Okay. Alright. So that seems positive. Oh yeah, let's go to the workbench. Let's take a look at my lightsaber and... Right now, I got the Bondar Crystal. On hit. Chance to stun for two rounds. And if I give it the Opala Crystal. Damage bonus energy. Three. Massive criticals. 2d6. 25% chance to stun. With a stupidly low DC. Or an extra three energy damage. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that three energy damage. Um, that's it. That's all it does is change change the color. Okay. All right. And I think the sigil is the one I already have in there, right? Yeah, that's the one I've already got in there. Ika. You know what, let's give her the, uh, a purple one, just so I know whose lightsaber is whose. <laughs> She's already got a Rubat crystal, so we can give her the Bondar crystal. That'll at least put it to good use. Yeah, and there's nothing else to bump up to hers. Okay. I'm hanging on to the other double-bladed lightsaber because I'm not sure if it's better for Juhani to do a lightsaber and a short lightsaber or a double-bladed saber. Uh, I want to say it's probably going to be better for her to have two separate ones. But uh, while I'm thinking about it, let me change out that red crystal for a blue one. All right, so mine is the yellow, hers is the purple, and Jahani's is the blue. Just so I can keep them all straight. And actually, that means I could probably sell all the other colored crystals, which is good. Uh, I don't think I've got any melee weapons to upgrade, because that one is fully upgraded. 
And that one is almost fully upgraded, but I can't seem to find another energy projector. Um, Earth Bendex Blaster. No, I've already picked up those. Yeah. So I do need to find some upgrades. I gotta write down who still needs an upgrade so I can go shopping. Uh, the I already got a scope off of the one guy, the hunting lodge. And I'll have to have a quick poke around this place to see if I can come up with more. I just got to figure out who needs which. And the armor. I wanted to see if Kalo Nord's armor was already upgraded. And it's not. I know one of the vendors on the planet has uh, the armor reinforcement, I think it was. So I'll have to pick that up. Uh, armor. Okay, so I'll need the armor and the upgrades. And while I'm standing here, let's go to you. You've got battle armor, defense bonus of 8, max dex of 1. And that's a bonus of 9 with a max dex of 1. But that is upgradable and it gives you a bunch of resistances that you don't already have. So, congratulations, you've been upgraded. Uh, nothing new there. You already got an energy shield. Let's go ahead and get you a um, of those two. All right, and you've already got Jedi Knight robes, defense bonus of two, and Master robes will get you a bonus of three. Okay, and I think my other Jedi already has Knight Robe. Uh, bonus of two, bonus of two, bonus of two. Yeah. Okay. Awareness or will? Let's actually get her equipped with the bump to will. All right. And let's poke around and Yeah, what do you yeah. want? I was wondering if you had any I don't have stories. as many strange stories like the last one I told you. But I do have a couple about me and the stuff I've done. In one battle above the world of Althir, my unit managed to defeat a force of Althiri ten times our own size. That battle gained me command of an entire subsect of my clan. For five the days, they had managed to hold off our forces, keeping us to the outer rings of their world, preventing us from attacking it directly. My task was to assault one of their flanks with a false attack. The Althiri would be drawn out by the units I had sent in. Once they had surrounded those units, the bulk of my forces would attack from the rear and defeat them in detail. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Did it work? Things didn't go as I had planned. I saw an opening, a mistake they had made in the disposition of their forces, and took it. While fending off our main force, they had let their fleet split in two. The center of their entire fleet was left exposed. Oh. I turned my forces and assaulted the center of their oh, fleet. Okay, I was decimated. expecting this to go a little differently after that. You were their great slow, warrior. ponderous ship could not turn to face us without being overwhelmed. The command vessels were destroyed in seconds. Their ranks were thrown into chaos. It was amusing to watch the surviving ships scatter and flee. Several even tried to dive through the plane of the rings to escape us. They were shredded by the rings or crashed into rocks or were destroyed by our forces as we pursued them. Warriors mm. do not flee from a battle if they are losing. They fight to the end, as we did against your Jedi Revan. Another time, maybe, I'll tell you about how the war with the Republic went. For now, let's just get on with things. Is there something else you want to know? 
No, Your choice. Not for now. I'm here if you want something done right. All right. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead because I'm about quarter past when I should have stopped. Um, I am going to off camera work on the race a little bit and try to get a little bit better at the racing and see if I can't get a little bit closer to the top time just because as much as I want to skip that side quest I need the money I need the credits I'll do another quick run through everybody's equipment and get an inventory of what I need to find so as I'm out and about running the uh, test runs I can go ahead and um, and find the missing pieces like the armor upgrade for Candorus there and that sort of thing and I'll double check my other droids make sure that they've got everything they need out of what I have so I can then sell the rest and um, yeah and so I'll do yeah armor and upgrades check all the equipment and try to beat 2251. I'm also going to run around with the different companions and see if anybody else triggers any any side quests. I'll get the recording software up for that so that way if it happens while... Uh, so if anything does happen off camera I'll have the video ready and I can splice it into the next one just in case somebody else uh, triggers another little side quest diversion. I, I don't know who else is because I'm pretty sure the Wookiee's not going to trigger something until we get to Kashyyyk. Uh, she's probably not going to trigger something until we get to uh, Korriban. Um, Mr. Overly Emo Soldier over here. <laughs> I, I don't think Karth is going to give me anything until... Uh, I don't know. I don't think he's ever going to give me anything, but... <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think he's going to give... I think his stuff's just going to be kind of random, but I don't think I'm going to get the ran, the walk-in like that. But I also wasn't expecting Mother Dearest to show up, so who knows. And, yeah, everything else is already taken care of. I might want to store some of the stuff I definitely don't want to accidentally sell, but I'll get to that later. So here is where I go, and... Pop up the end credits, and here's my chance to thank you for joining along with me. Um, let me save my game real quick. Saving, so I can go ahead and quit that and get rid of the uh, the noises in my ear and the noises on the camera. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. I hope you enjoyed the time. We do this every... Oh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Windows, for interrupting my uh, <laughs> my ending there. This is where I thank you for joining me. We're doing this Games Revisited every Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And uh, right now we're going through Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We're going to do that as completely as we can, uh, trying to go through all the stuff I'm if I remember right, I won't have to worry about the Nico stuff until after I finish all three successful races. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that off camera so that way you don't see me constantly flailing and, you know, taking up the time on that. Um, I also do two other game streams throughout the week on Fridays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I play World of Tanks with a couple of friends. We jokingly call it the 47% because, well, we make the top half possible. Some of us accept our lot in life, some of us just don't understand, and some of us are a little grumpy. I'll let you figure out who's who. So we'll be doing that tomorrow at 6 p.m. Join us for that. And on Tuesdays, I play Minecraft on the Coffee Craft server with Arcadius and Ray Est. We've been working along in Season 0. That's our training season where we work on getting the streaming stuff set up. You know, I got the lights set up a little bit better. I, I think I might be able to have it even, even better in time for uh, next week's episode. Maybe the week after. I, get, I at least have a better idea of what I need to get and that sort of thing. And um, so those are the streams. Join us. 
If you haven't already, give us a follow. Get notified whenever we whenever we go live. I do this on Twitch and Mixer, restreaming to both. And down in the description, if you're watching this on Twitch or Mixer, you'll see in the description a link to the YouTube page. YouTube is where I archive all my live streams. And eventually I'm going to start producing some episodes too. Probably going to start with Coffee Craft and then build out from there. Maybe do some uh, short takes or battle recaps or that sort of thing from World of Tanks. And maybe some clips from this show. I don't know at this point exactly where that's going to go. But uh, if you missed the live, uh, as long as Mixer and Twitch keep the archive, it'll be there. But there will always be a permanent archive on YouTube. So give the channel a follow. You know, like, subscribe, all that good fun stuff that helps the channel out. And last, but by no means least, um, bandwidth and servers are expensive. If, if, <laughs> if you get any enjoyment out of this, if, uh, if, if you're having fun and enjoying this, you know, th this is kind of what Tom Merritt called uh, value for value. If you're deriving value from the show or the other shows that I do, please return a little bit of the, that value back at live.anonjunior.com. That'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can donate and help the channel out. If you do it during the live stream, you'll actually see your name up in those that, that big empty box up a, ahead of me. So <laughs> that big empty box. Uh, you too can be there. So thank you. Have fun. Enjoy. And I'll see you next time.